It's a scary place to be, boy. All right, we had some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. The team scrambled, got us back on. Uh, last month, what you're looking at there is footage from our second trip to Ukraine this year. Uh, we had to see what was happening firsthand to make sure that the reporting that we were getting uh, could be confirmed. And it was. It was about a prospective or potential Russian um, reset. They were already in the midst of a huge barrage of attacks in key areas of Ukraine. Uh, and looks like we're going to have to go back again at some point, because just today, Russia launched its largest missile attack since January. And still, for the second year in a row, the academy that is usually criticized for being hyper PC denied President Zelensky of Ukraine's request to speak at the Oscars, giving him a global audience two years in a row. What does that mean for our resolve? And what can we expect for the foreseeable future? Let's bring in retired Brigadier General Mark Kimmett. General, thank you for your patience. Um, when I was sure. there, the fighting was every bit as bad as we could have expected. We are now told it's worse. Uh, what do the audience need to understand about what the stakes are on the ground there? Well, I think your audience needs to understand that Russia is really fighting two wars. They're fighting the tactical military war at the front lines at places such as Bakhmut. But it's clear that Putin is trying to affect the resolve of the Ukrainian people by bringing them into the war directly, by bombing their infrastructure, by turning off their lights, by destroying their key uh, uh, command and control centers. The whole idea is for the Ukrainians to force Zelensky to come to the negotiating table, but the Ukrainians don't seem like they're taking that bait and they're showing as much resolve to continue this war as a similar bombing campaign in World War II, the Battle of Britain. Uh, Hitler was unable to affect the population of Britain. So we have Zelensky being denied by the Oscars. We have the Speaker of the House saying, no thanks, President Zelensky, I'm not coming there. And there are at least rumors that the speaker may spearhead a pullback in funding for Ukraine. What does this picture uh, depict in terms of where America's headed? Well, first of all, I, I don't think those are necessarily reflective of the overall public opinion in America and the support we're giving. But if it was, this is exactly what President Putin wants. He wants to not only affect the resolve of the Ukrainian people, but he wants to fray the public support uh, in the Western nations. That was always one of his strategies, uh, not only attack inside Ukraine, but try to split NATO and try to wait out the Western alliance because his belief is that they just can't take uh, a long war of suffering. So uh, I don't believe that either side of the aisle uh, truly believes that the, they, we should be pulling back. Uh, but if this war goes on for another year, I'd, I'd start to worry. But you do have, especially on the right side of the aisle, a lot of politics of abstention. Uh, this is their problem. Uh, we can't get involved. We've got our own problems here. Uh, let's take care of ourselves. We've done enough abroad in the Middle East. Let's not start this again. What's your counter? Well, first of all, I don't think I need to counter because I don't think that's correct. I think if you polled the right side of the aisle, uh, particularly in the United States Senate, there would be very few, if any, senators uh, on the right side of the aisle that would say, let's do exactly that. What Congress is saying is that the president has sent $30 billion uh, in equipment over to the Ukrainians, and they simply want to perform their duty uh, to provide oversight, advise and consent to the president on matters of war. It is my belief that nobody in the United States Senate, possibly some knuckleheads in the House, but in general, the vast majority of the Republican uh, Congress is supportive of what the president is doing. Remarkable, I should say. 
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.